Hey everybody, so today I'm just going to do a quick little video and show you how you can take some of your AI images that maybe didn't turn out that good. You know, if you, especially if you get a batch of them and some parts of them look cool and some of them don't look so good. And just kind of clean, clean them up a bit and make them look good. All you'll need is a image editor that just has layers and an eraser tool basically. If you have an image editor that can do that, then you can really clean up your pictures a lot. And so I've got uh, a few images here, and I'm going to clean them up a little bit. Now this first one, I don't think I'm going to use anything out of this first one. And so I have, if you see, I've got four images over here. This one I'm just going to delete. And then we get this one here that came out a little nicer, so I'm going to keep this one. And what I'm basically doing is just kind of going down the list and looking at the one that I think looks the best. And that one doesn't look bad. That one doesn't look bad. I'm just I'm turning my layers on and off so that I can see them. So right now the top layer is invisible. It looks like this. I turn it off. And then this one. And I like this one. That one on the bottom there definitely looks like the best one. So what I'm going to do is put it all the way up to the top here. Now normally, um, you know, when I first started doing this, I just post this one. But now after I've been working with a little while... You know, some of the novelties wear off. So now I'm really kind of focusing on just getting quality images and doing a little post editing can really help your final output and how your image looks. Okay, and so now I can just kind of turn this off and turn this on. So I like this. I don't like this part here where there's this thing in her lips. So that, that's the first thing I'm going to do. And I just turn on my eraser tool here, make it a little bigger, and then I can control the pressure of it. And I'm just going to kind of erase this spot right here and just replace it with what's beneath it which is just kind of a black spot there so we'll just kind of get rid of that kind of odd looking part there of this image and I've been doing this more and more lately because I've also been working with starter images and there that looks good and then I'm just going to kind of do the same thing anywhere I see something on this top image which is my best one that I don't like I'm going to see if I've got another image that maybe has a part that's better like this here. I kind of like that nose there. That looks a little more realistic. There's kind of a weird anomaly here in this top one. There where it really looks like, you know, like a 3D model or something. So I'm just going to go ahead and erase that top one and just replace it with the one beneath it. You know, see if we can get rid of kind of that. Just do a quick nose job here, you know. Cheaper than plastic surgery by a lot, you bet. And you, and you can really get detailed here. You can go down and look at just each little part and think, hmm, do I like this little section here better? And you can also, anytime you get kind of these areas, you know, where it looks, it looks kind of weird, you can use the good old spray brush as well. Just to kind of blend everything. That's the whole trick with all of this stuff whenever you're editing is just blending, making those blends kind of. If it's you're getting too much of an edge there, you want to turn down the opacity. Just spraying some paint now a little bit. Still a little heavy. There we go. Now we can just make a nice blend there. Just kind of blend it in there. And now we scavenged everything out of this image that looks bad. That's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of scavenging the layer beneath it. And if any part of that bottom layer beneath this one looks better, then I'm going to steal it. I'm going to steal it from that layer. Okay, and then once you've done this, I'm just going to show you here. Since we have erased it, we've got this. So we can't just, you don't want to delete this layer. What you want to do then is you want to take this top layer and we're going to merge it down. That's going to mix it with this layer, but the top layer is going to cover everything that we haven't erased. So now I'm merging this down. Okay, now we've just got two layers. And so I'm going to do the same thing here. And okay, there we go. Maybe we can fix that kind of anomaly on our lip now. And I do. Ha I have even more of these, but you know, this top image looked pretty good. I'm just going to kind of leave it at is, as is for now. I just kind of thought I'd show you how I clean up some of my pictures sometimes. You know, they don't always come out looking as good as I post them. So I do. I cheat a little bit. I do this and I cheat a little bit. 
And, you know, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be better. We can just try it and see. You know, another thing I can do is just turn it up really far. And then if I don't like it, no, that looks good. Yeah, it definitely looks better. Okay. And then I could just undo it. So that's how I clean up a lot of my images. Let's see. Is there anything else down here on this bottom layer we can scavenge? You know, I kind of like this stuff in the middle here. But I, I think that's good enough now. I think, yeah, we'll just leave it as is. You know what? I do kind of like this one better. I don't, let's just, let's steal that. Let's steal this section from this image here. Maybe not all of it. Maybe just little pieces of it. You know, any place where we're lacking detail on this top image and there's detail on the bottom, we can steal that from it. Okay, I'm going to leave it there, and then I'm going to blend it a little bit here. And I'm going to call this one done. And I have done this with all the other images I'm posting today. I just kind of want to show you this little quick tip, and you guys have a great day. These are my dailies. Thank you for watching. And I got one more appendix here for you guys. Uh, one more pro tip here. This really is a pro tip here. So one thing AI always does bad is hands, if you notice. So I also, now I'm using starting images with all these I did today, which is something I'm really getting into. I've been doing it for a while now, and I'm really starting to love using starting images. So if you don't use starting image, images, uh, I got a great tutorial on it. Check it out. But this is another um, thing that I always do. So AI is really bad at hands. Anything small kind of gets mangled. So I also always keep my starting images that I used. So here's the starting image and I turned it into this. But what you do with the starting image is this. You can always fix the hands. We're going to erase this here and you won't even notice it. It'll still just look like part of the, you know, the AI image here. So I just wanted to add this in because you never want to use the AI hands. They, they never turn out good. They really don't. And I did the same with the other one. So that was all I just wanted to show you that little trick there too. If you're using a starting image, save your starting image so you can make little adjustments with the hands. Always save the hands. And that's it. Thanks for watching.